What up, what up, Wimbush here. And let's say that you're working on a scene inside of Unreal Engine 5, something like this, and you have an image sequence in here, but you wanna control the hue and saturation and maybe the contrast because it's looking really blown out. So this is something really easy to set up. So if I come down here, let me open up my content drawer and dock it into my panel. As you can see, I have my material down here. And if I actually make this into a plane, you can see we have our alpha channel. This is actually an image sequence, but if I look inside of my scene, it's completely blown out. So if I make this larger, in an easy way, we can actually add contrast to hue and saturation is if I right click down here instead of my material graph, if I type in MF underscore chroma, you can see that we have chroma key here. And then if I bring this over here to where we have RGB, put this into my color input, then emissive color, put this under my base. And if I click on save, now we're going to be able to add all these attributes into a material instance. So the next thing I want to do is come down here to my material, right click, come right here to where it says create material instance. And then if I double click on my material instance, now you can see we have all these attributes from the chroma key here. But if I come all the way to the bottom, we actually have color correction, which we can add brightness, contrast, hue and saturation, etc. So we want to turn on color correction amount, put this up to one. And then if I come over here, maybe like turn on contrast and hue and saturation, you can see right here instead of my viewport, it's actually adding more contrast. And then I can also add some more saturation. So I'm going to save this and let me minimize this a little bit. And as you can tell, we don't have anything happening inside of our viewport. And that's because we have to left click and drag it into here. So now it's actually pulling in the data from my material instance. So in real time, I can actually drag this over and see what's happening inside of my viewport. And this is an easy way that we can actually add all these color correction attributes inside of Unreal Engine. So hopefully this helped you guys out for anybody that's doing any virtual production stuff out there inside of Unreal Engine. Of course, if you're new, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you in the next video. I'll see you soon. Take care.